More than 16,000 people attended a sex expo in South Africa's capital Pretoria at the weekend. For event attendees like Kolefelo Makudu and Abi Mutloa, it was a chance to learn more. Um, it's something that people don't want to know is happening. So, like a taboo, in a way. So we grew up not learning to speak freely or just explore. South Africa is generally seen as a sexually conservative country. That's due to religious beliefs, cultural views and sexual education. But sexologist Dr Mpume Zenda says younger South Africans are more open. They've also grown up in a very, in a more um, sort of like free kind of uh, uh, South Africa um, that has emphasized the importance of their rights. So they are more uh, advocating for their own rights. When you look, for example, you know, the kids of the 80s and, B and, and, and before then, um, there's still a level of conservative because of how we were, you know, culturally raised. You know, close your legs, don't do this, don't do that. Um, only when you get married, that kind of stuff. The Sex Expo ran from October 13th to the 16th and featured everything from bondage shows and fetish exhibitions to a portrait painting, penile artist and AI companion robots that warm up to human touch.